plaintiff, Ashley King, says the defendant is her younger sister, and they have never been close because the defendant is a troublemaker. Ashley claims the defendant was kicked out of school, ran away from a girl's home, and then started hanging with the wrong crowd. Ashley's suing because she claims the defendant stole her identity and got traffic tickets in her name. Defendant Crystal Chavez says she became troubled after she was assaulted by a neighbor and her behavior eventually led to a drug addiction. Crystal insists she's now clean, but she's countersuing because she claims Ashley had sex with her children's father, which broke up Crystal's family. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. We now be seated. We'll start with you. All right, it all started when she was younger. Uh, by the way, this is my younger sister. Mm -hmm. uh, we've never had a close relationship. She has always been in trouble, in and out of uh, girls' homes, as running of what away. Age? As of 15. Younger. Uh, it started when she was 15. Mm -hmm. Um, she got kicked out of school for her behavior. She then went to a girl's home. She ran away from the girl's home and came back home and ran away again. And then she ended up with a bunch of people that got her on the wrong track. She started partying, drinking, and even still as of today, she's still doing the same thing. And I think it's a little bit worse today than it was 15 years ago. And... I just want her to be an adult and own up to her responsibility and take responsibility for her. Why do you actions. think she was uh, like that? Well, what put her on that destructive road at age 15? I don't know what was going through her mind you at You never that heard time. your mother discuss it? No, sir, I didn't. Okay. Did they ever take her to counseling? She did go to counseling. Okay. Um, I don't know what came about All that. All right, it let me hear some background from you. We're talking about you like you're not here. Tell me what happened. Uh, in terms of your background? Um, back when I was 14, um, I was raped by a neighbor. That explains it all. All right. And Did you know that part? Yes, we knew that back then. But I didn't know, well, I didn't know that was the reason that she would run away. So, just... Did the neighbor go to jail? Did she go to jail? Yeah, he went to jail for child rape, yeah. and he's actually on a sex registry list. He was actually sent... They gave him six months house arrest, and he did five mm -hmm. days in jail. All right, how have your parents been with you? She acts like you were the black sheep because you just wanted to be a juvenile delinquent as opposed to acting out based on the severe trauma. How did they treat you, your parents? Um, when my mom found out about it, um, it was like a couple months later, um, about two months. She had asked me if I was pregnant because I started getting weight, you know, depression or whatnot. And um, whenever I told her what happened that night, um, she... She, she stood by me, but I guess with other things that happened in my childhood, I rebelled against my mother. And we still don't have that connection. And um, my behavior got bad. Um, they sent me down to Georgia, well, Aiken, South Carolina, and they sent me to a group home for girls. Um, I was there probably a month or two, maybe. I ran away from there. Ended up in Georgia and Atlanta. And my mom found out where I was at. And then she they, she came down there and picked me up, took me back to the place. Whenever I got home, I think I was like 16 maybe. Um, I, I, I just couldn't be around, like, around that neighborhood, I guess, mm -hmm. with, all, with everything that happened. To you? Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't be around that. Right. So I rebelled against my whole family, my mm -hmm. brothers, my sister, her, my mom, mm -hmm. my dad, my stepdad, you know, and I got caught up, like she said, mm -hmm. I got caught up with the wrong people. I was 17 and I met this girl and she ended up moving in with me in an apartment that I had in Charlotte, North Carolina. And she introduced me to the drug life, the nightlife, the clubs or whatnot. Well, I got, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I did. I did get, I did get addicted for a little while. Mm -hmm. And I laid off when I got pregnant with my daughter when I was 19. Um, she was born when I was 20, I got pregnant again, had a little boy. 
when I was 21. And then I was dealing with their, fa their father, dealing with the abuse, the beatings, the whole lifestyle of what we had. Um, when me and him, we, we split up for, for a little bit. We got back together after my son was born. And then he got addicted to cocaine. You know, he started doing it every weekend with his friends and his crowd. Well, there, there I go, not caring. I, I had two kids and he didn't want anything to do with my son. So he just didn't care. Well, my son, I lost my son a couple years ago. And um, ever since then, it's just like been going downhill. I, I, I just couldn't be around, like, around that neighborhood, I guess, with all with everything that happened. To you? Mm -hmm. I couldn't be around that. Right. Plaintiff Ashley King is suing her sister, who claims Ashley destroyed her family by having sex with her children's father. A lot of hardship there, I see. Yeah, Did you I, go for therapy much in your life at all? Um, I went to Catawba Mental Health. It's um, rehabilitation. Or, for how long, or, though? Um... They put me on medication, really. Mm -hmm. My mom, back when I was when I was a teenager, she yeah, she put me in psych psych okay, hospital, good. trying on uh -huh. medication, Therapy. trying uh -huh. yeah, trying to like figure out what was wrong with me or mm -hmm. whatever. And Did it help? Do you feel? No. Did you um, go I, consistently and take your medication? I consistently? did consistently, but it kept making it worse. Like my the anger, the medication that they had me on, it would just like zone me out. And then I would just like snap. One day, I, one time I blacked out on my mom, I was 15. I blacked out on her and hit her and she had a black eye for two weeks. And so I just stopped taking my medication whenever I got back from Aiken, whenever she brought me back from Aiken when I was 16. You never felt any benefit from the medication? Not from that medication, no. I it not. never stopped you from whatever destructive stuff you were doing? Mm -mm. And you shared Until that? Until the medication that I'm on today. Huh, the pardon? Until I started taking the medication. Okay, so they found that. something that did address, yeah. that does help. Mm -hmm. That helped. I started taking it two Good. years ago, actually. Two years? Two years. Good, all right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And um, now, yeah, I was, like she said, she said, I still go out. I still do I have fun or whatnot, but it's not as bad as she thinks it is. You know, she still thinks that I'm on hard drugs, and I'm not. That's not true. We don't have a relate. We don't have the sisterly relationship that we're supposed to have due to the father of my kids <clears throat> and the relationship that she had with him. You know, and it's just. Do you think that's the case? You all don't have a good relationship because of the father of her children? No, sir. Because me and the father of her children were never sexually together. What does that, that have to do with anything? <laughs> but that's that's what she was accusing me of earlier. Oh. Yes. No, I, I've caught her. Um, Come I've on caught now. her. Okay, oh, yes, just I did. because I was I've there her. doesn't mean my that daughter, I had slept with him. My daughter, my daughter just was because six. Because you were where? And my daughter house. was six In years old. In his bedroom. Your, no, at yes, his house. Your honor. I was at his house. Let me tell you how this one went down. My daughter was six years old at the time. I was in college. I was at I was studying at ITT Tech. Good. I was coming home from school one day, and one of my friends were at the house. At Is my that your counterclaim for emotional distress? Yeah, and destroying my family. All right, we'll get daughter. to that then. Let's talk about why you're suing her. It is for uh, unpaid traffic tickets, lawyer fees, and emotional distress. Tell me what happened. In 2009, uh, she got a whole bunch of tickets in my name, which I have proof of right here, and. How did you determine she had them put in your name? Okay, well, first I got pulled over in 2009 mm -hmm. because my friend's boyfriend got pulled over for uh, swerving, and I ended up getting pulled over for being nosy. And then that's when they told me my license were suspended. And I was like, no, they're not. I just come back from the, out of the country. Here's my passport. Look at it, you know. Okay, how, did we, like, how did they determine it was her? My mom told me then in 2011 that she had used my driver's license along with a couple of other people. How'd your that, mother know? Because she told my mom. Okay. Okay. And, and then her friends, she also used their identity and stole their identity to get tickets. How do you know? 
because I have affidavits and they also... All right. And when you discuss this with your sister, what has she said? She admitted, denied, or what? She did admit it, and I also okay. have a text message And from she agreed to pay them, and what is the amount? I see uh, lawyer fee tickets and emotional distress, totaling 4000 How much for the tickets? The total amount was 2752 All right. And lawyer fee... $400. And emotional distress? A thousand. All right. Ma'am, what do you say to this? There's no proof that I actually did it, that I did that. Did you tell her you did? Yeah, I told her I did. You did okay. it. You know you did it. And then it. last week. Why did so, you tell her you did it if you didn't? No, I didn't do it. I, I told her I didn't do it. You never admitted to doing no, it? No, I never admitted to doing it. Okay. So like, last week or a couple weeks ago, uh -huh. um, she she came to me and she was like, well, she came to my mom. And my mom was like, yeah. okay, now well, let's we discuss see. what she's accusing you of. Okay. So far, you've said you never told her you did it. Mm -hmm. Was there ever any charges against mm -hmm. you for this? Mm -mm. All right, you all, when you discussed it, that was all. I never did it, and so, and that was it. Mm -hmm. All right. Do well, you have any other additional proof other than you received the tickets? Yes, and, sir. Go ahead. What do you have? I have she was involved. Okay, I have a text message right just here. Just because she, she's uh, uh, involved in destructive behavior doesn't mean that she uh, uh, got involved in this with you. She admitted that she would pay me because... She admitted it where? <laughs> oh, these are texts you all exchange. All right. I mean, I'm doing what I can, Ashley. You know I'm not working and I'm getting money anyway that I can. And I'm doing all that I can to get you straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I um I offered to help her pay to get I offered to help her pay. They were your tickets. I offered, you know it. Ma'am, would you be quiet? Sorry. I mm -hmm. offered I offered to help her pay to get her get her situation get her situation. She has all of her kids. She mm -hmm. babysits for a living. And why? Just so she can get right. Okay. And You're get doing her what off you can. You're not working. I'm getting money any way that I can. So I'm doing all that I can to get you straight. So you're suggesting here that you were telling her that you're sacrificing, you're doing anything you can to help her with her children. That's what you pretty much yeah. were saying in this text. Me and the father of her children were never sexually together. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> but that's, that's what she was accusing me of earlier. Oh. Plaintiff Ashley King is suing her sister, who claims Ashley destroyed her family by having sex with her children's father. All right, what is your counterclaim for? How does she owe you? From destroying my family. Okay, what does she do? Tell me. Sleeping with the father of my kids. That was in oh. 2010, and I didn't sleep with him. Really? Yes, really. So, oh, child. Listen, were you in the? Were you in? The Ashley, bedroom? I rolled in. I rolled up. Were I you rolled, in the bedroom? Wait, what did you tell me? What did you tell me? Whenever I whenever I picked you up, whenever I got back to mama's, whenever um I found out about it. I don't think day. your mother you wants to me? hear all this mess, what do you, you ma'am? Did you sue him? What'd you do to him? I don't talk to him. He doesn't have anything to do with our kids, barely. Well, do you... oh, I beat him up. If you if you really want to know, I mean, yeah, I did. I beat and him this up. This is 2010, allegedly. Yes. All right. So we're not going to even deal with that nonsense about her sleeping with your, allegedly sleeping with your, the father of your children. With regard, however, to the tickets and the legal fees and emotional distress, her uh, explanation of this text is uh, not believable and it's not credible. And so I'll grant you your judgment. Have a good day, ladies. Your Thank claim you. is dismissed. Good luck to you. Continue success. Thank you. All right. You. I'm just glad this is over and hopefully that we can all come together and, and try to put this in the past and be a family like we're supposed to be. Well, hopefully she'll stop using other people's identities and uh, get herself straight, because if she don't, she's going to end up in more trouble. I don't have anything to say.